Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. And today is going to be a, a different, a different video than usual. Today's video is going to be: Do I think my team Chelsea will go to Tottenham and win? Oh, the possibilities is like for us at the moment will be quite lowered. The possibilities of us getting a win at Tottenham will significantly lowered because we played five games since we last. We've lost out of the last five games. We've lost four out of the last five. With a uh, win at home to Aston Villa being the only upside of it all, but. Defeat at home to Bournemouth and then defeat at home to West Ham should never have happened. We were better than West Ham for 90 minutes, we were better than Bournemouth for 90 minutes and still lost out. Everton, that was a write off because we were just rubbish from the very start of that game. When the last two defeat, the Bournemouth defeat and the West Ham defeat, we actually started the game off the better side. The Everton game was completely the opposite. Everton started it off the better side and won the game. And then the other one was the Man City defeat where we we outplayed, out-possessioned Manchester City. We were the only team in the Premier League in like two years to do so. So it's like, yeah, do I think... Um, Sorry about this lighting, I can't do anything about it if you hear any noise because there's traffic that's going on and the traffic coming back and forward. So, um, do I think we'll be Tottenham? Maybe. Depends if one, the players show heart and passion and how much the this fixture means to them. If they think, think it in the right manner and think to themselves, think how much this means to the fans and think about it in that way, I will be happy. I will be happy because if we play with passion and with heart and with an absolute now I think we've got to do this for the fans then that's passion really set in stone because I know Chelsea fans hate losing to Spurs it's like out of all the games in the season I hate losing to Spurs more than I hate losing to Arsenal just just from that alone but do I think we'll beat Tottenham will all depends on It will depend on what team Lampard brings out and depends how the team plays. Because now, with Chelsea, in the last five games, we don't really know what Chelsea team is going to, put, going to, uh, is going to perform. We don't know. Are we going to perform good? Are we going to perform bad? Are we going to perform mediocre? Are we going to perform spectacular? Are we going to be, I don't know. Depends on the performance. Depends. But, at the moment, the last five games, I don't really know what Chelsea side is going to turn up. So, um, everything and all that. One, we can't afford any mistakes, because from watching the Spurs when they were playing Wolves, they were really good. We got to track. There's a couple of players we've got to be worried about that's like, Lucas Moura for one. We've got to be careful of Kane and Deli Ali and all that and Son. Because if we give them like a sniff, a sniff of a chance or anything, they're going to bury it in the back of the net. And with our defence at the moment, us doing that is probably going to happen. <laughs> Knowing Chelsea is going to happen. But I have faith in the team, depending on what team Lampard brings out. You will be getting a proper preview for this game on Friday. This is just a little video leading up to the re preview on uh, Friday. Uh, just if Hudson Odoi does play, that's what the one thing that Lampard's got to sort out is he's got to make him start playing because he's played not well. Uh, when Batch Price come on, he's not played well. And we but we need the players to perform 110 percent in this game. They need to think. This game, do it for the fans. Do it for, do it for the fans and for the club, because this is the one fixture that the club and fans hate losing. Come on and let this 
Go, let's go and make history. Make yourself heroes. You can all be forgiven for the last five games if you beat Spurs. And that would be just a miracle if you if you beat Spurs after winning one out of your last five games. Then it will be a miracle. And hopefully Kepa does not perform his clangers and mistakes. Because that's, that's what worries me most games is Kepa and his clangers is what I want to call it. That hopefully we have a defence that can go and win the game. Hopefully. But there's always that one percent chance that Chelsea can beat Spurs. I think we can. We we can beat Spurs in their own backyard. In the new Tottenham Hotspur Stadium for the first time. I think we can do it. It all rides on two things. One, the team that Frank puts out in the starting eleven. That's number one. Number two, it all depends on if the players show up. And yeah, people understand it's if the players show up, that's number two. So the first one was depends on what team Lampard puts out for his starting eleven. And number two is depending on if the players show up. And number three, play with passion and heart. And number four, do it for the fans. It's the message, quick message here to all the players, any Chelsea supporters or Chelsea players do watch this. This game means everything to, to the supporters. For you to go and win at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium would not just make you happy, it wouldn't just make the fans happy. It would, it would classify you guys as heroes because we classify any player that has won a game versus Tottenham as a hero for Chelsea Football Club. And you can go and do it because you, most of you boys are one of our own. You've come from the academy, you've come and shown that you have proved to Frank Lampard that you are willing to be in that team and go and show what it means to wear this badge with pride. Go and perform and represent Chelsea Football Club by going to win against Tottenham and show that to a manager that didn't have the faith in you when he could have had the faith in, say, Tammy Abraham, the likes of Hamori, the likes of Otsadori, he could have had all the faith in you. He could have off his cheek and all like that. He didn't have that faith. Mourinho didn't have the look in. He didn't trust the youth. But Sarri went and started all of this off when he went and started off playing for the youth in like Hudson Adoy and all like that and lost his cheek. And what did they do? They were scoring and starting for Chelsea. And now Lampard's gone and continued that. And that's a message to the Chelsea players. If you see it, take that as positive go into the game and play for the badge with pride and represent Chelsea Football Club think of the fans and let's go and beat Tottenham hope you guys have enjoyed this video of do you think Chelsea will beat Tottenham on Sunday like subscribe become a part of the notification squad and 